Hi to ho, ladies and children. Here's some peppers here. Day uh, two <laughs> of the event, and uh, today it's a love story. <laughs> the greatest bromance that ever was, Argle Tal and Rao. Um, so this guy's quite cool in the event. Um, having a bit of fun with him. Um, just going to show you some sort of Argotar versus Erebus games. I mean, what better than Argotar fighting Erebus? The only thing that would make that better is Khan versus Erebus, but. Minokan and Argotar. Okay, so. <clears throat> By the way, turn reality. To win this war. Jesus Christ. So good. So ridiculous, like this card is gonna go far. Like, especially this deck where you can play like chaff. <laughs> so yeah, um Erebus is doing his thing, summoning his demons and I'm having none of that, so just starting to kick his teeth in. See, so if I were playing Argotal, I would never do shit like that. It just, it just gets this better and better and better. So, my goal, really, um, is to get this guy out. Not necessarily because he's fantastic in of himself, but because he's fun. Um, and plus it effectively makes me, for you know, X mana, a 35 health champion run, the 30 health champion. You know? Um... <laughs> So, I'm just laying this stuff out, clearing his board, obviously making Blessed Sun cheaper and cheaper. And then I'll do this. Hell of Truth is quite interesting. I think that, like, in a Lore God deck, for example, like, or, book, you know, or like a deck Book of Lore God, it could be a really solid card. Um, you know. It could combo quite well with the, um, uh, like, spawn spam, you know, or uh, Zezigal squad. It's quite a nice little card. Um, yeah, man. <coughs> Only in an event would you see Possess. Oh. <sighs> so, yeah. Shethalon squad, man. Oh, yeah, this is why this is good. Oh no, you just played a 9-9! <laughs> oh no! What happened to it? Um, so yeah, Cethalon Squad's really cool. It's just solid, man. Like a 4-4-4-4 four, 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 four that gets you two Righteous Zealots. Nice. Just, just nice. Like, there's so much you can do with that. Ow. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> and then Blessed Sun. Like, gotta love it. Gotta love the love story. I am Rao. So this is, I think, where Argletal is going to be quite good is in just creating big board and then slapping you in the face with it. Um. Just making a point. You deserve no board, Erebus. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, so, that was game one. Um, as you see, you know, Argle get out quite a nice bit of spam. Uh, let's probably not do all Five minutes in? Yeah. Okay. So, so back files interesting. Um, we need like control with that, if we are to win this good. war. So, like, I'm quite excited because it's unlikely that he can kill all three two mana, and he's probably going to do that. So, I now get to have a bit of fun with sword backfall because I get a spawn. I got a spawn! <laughs> and all of a sudden I have a pretty horrifying board. Like, this is turn two. Like, what the hell, man? Each moment of agony is a no like, that's definitely something worth considering. Ugh. So making that cheaper, I am also getting rid of, rid of one or two of them just because of the maintenance cost. Like, that is actually an issue. Um, there we go. So that sort of fixes a lot of my issues. Like, you know. This has turned out to be a pretty, pretty fast game. Uh, yeah, if you're in the event and you go to Nargletal or a Lorgar, don't, don't bother doing the spawn thing because they'll just tear in reality it. <laughs> it is done. Yeah. You know. Um. So, I'm, I'm really liking the, uh, sort of relationship that Argyle Tal has with a lot of the cards. I think that of the three warlords, I do think he's going to have the most synergy. Um, just every time, man. Every time. We need control <laughs> if we are to win this war. <sighs> Can't control your body. Do the creep. Oh, do the creep. So a slightly slower start. <laughs> Whoa. Now, what do I do here? Yeah. So I'm hanging on to the Dagatel bikes just because, you know, that might happen. <laughs> And that's quite important to get rid of. Yes, Jackie. Hold on, baby, I'm just finishing something. Oh. So that's quite scary. <laughs> yeah, just share from four. <clears throat> Ugh. So I'm taking a bit of a beating here, but, you know, I'm getting a bit of bored out. Although he is getting out a pretty hefty board himself. I mean, yeah, it's looking pretty bad for me, but I have a Malnor squad, and Malnor squads are motherfuckers. 
Especially when you have a Cephalon squad. I'll send you to the Neverborn. Oh, big words there, buddy. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just horrible. Such a good combo. Like, I think that's going to be a pretty good combo in ranks. Like. You know, you see this guy, you kill it. You kill it with fucking fire. Like, I would put escape vents in an Argyl Tal deck just to keep this guy alive. Like, abs are fucking moving. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's that? Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ. Ugh. The funny thing is, I kill that guy and I get a 3 3 back. Ugh. I mean, how ridiculous is that? <laughs> Such a heavy board. So ridiculous. Poor guy. He had a really good board. Like, I mean, that's such a sick, like, he had such a sick setup, and then I just sort of, like, malmored, and then everyone was unhappy. Oh, yeah. I forgot he did that. I mean, I have lethal, but. <laughs> I was like, I will stun it for no reason. <laughs> Because I can. Um, yeah, and that's you know, three brief games of Argyle Tal. Um, yeah, I have to say, like, I'm not too enthused by this event. I'm more playing it for the fun. Like, it's just a bit unbalanced. Well, I say that. It's just very difficult to get anywhere, and that may just be because I'm a scrub. But like, there are just if you want to play Argyle Tal, if you want to play like a World Warbearers deck, it's just hard work, and it's like... Mm, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be as sort of challenging when playing Mandragorax is that easy. Basically. You know. I, I do think they missed... I really think they missed a trick on, on that. I'm not going to say that the event is the worst, as I've seen people write, or that it's not worth doing. Of course, it is, you know, it's worth playing. It's, it's good fun, but it's just, if you want to get, like, 12 crates, mm, I don't know, use your tickets sparingly. I maybe wait until the next event. This one is not, like, it's not the most productive if you're looking to farm. Um, if you're looking for fun, play Argyle Tal. He's great enough, as you saw. Um, anyway, that's it from me. Tati Baez.